What is up YouTube, my name is Bunny Films, and today we are back in the great game of Lumber Tech 2, and for this video, we're going to go on a little adventure, and we're going to head to the Shrine of Sight, if you don't know where that is, that's up by the volcano, in a little secret, uh, cave, and all you need is actually a stick of dynamite, and, um, to open the door, because there is a rock door that you do have to explode, and then on top of that, um, you will need two basic hatches, hatchets in a box, I believe. So we're going to go ahead, head to Wood or Us, and we're going to get our first um, part, or our first supplies that we need, which are the two basic hatchets. And if someone already opened the Shrine of Sight, then that means the Squidward painting inside is gone. So you're sort of out of luck, so you'll have to like join a different server. But this is a really inexpensive way to get to the Shrine. I'm not sure if this is a glitch or not. However, you are supposed to open this with uh, two of the um, boxes from last Christmas that had the numbers on it and the special colors that corresponded to the specific requirements to open the door. So for whatever reason, if you have two basic hatchets, you can actually open the door along with a stick of dynamite to blow open the door. So we're going to go ahead, head to Bob's Shack now, and that's where you purchase your dynamite. And before I do continue on with this video, I do want to make sure that I stress the point that I am sick right now. Which is just great because, um, yeah, it's, I mean, I'm going to try to get more videos out, but I mean, I'm off. I have no extracurricular activities after school anymore, which is great. So more time for videos <coughs> and all that. But now I'm sick and I have no energy. But here I am making some good old content. So guys, we literally just reached 20 or 32,000 subscribers. Guys, that is astronomical. I always want to say astronomical in a video once. But that's just a big number. Thank you everyone for considering um, my channel um, subscriber worthy. I mean, I really appreciate all the support so far. We've gotten over 4,000 subscribers this month. So, huge shout out to all of you guys for the continued support and dedication to my channel. Anyways, Bob Shack is across the bridge. You do have to pay a little toll of $100 to lower the bridge for three minutes. I'm going to turn my lights on right now so it's a bit easier to navigate. And Bob Shack is right over there by my cursor. And I remember the first time someone showed me Bob Shack, like when I was a new lumber type we do several years back. I mean, we couldn't find it, we thought it was somewhere in the middle, but then it was right here. So that's just a little fun story I literally just remembered. Anyways guys, it's Halloween time as of recording this video, so there's special items in here including an Amber Axe, and the limited stock of Pumpkin, which is $524 for the cursed Pumpkin. And there is no eyeball up there sadly, um, I wish, I mean last year there was, but those are duplicated so much, and they're like, they have no value. So I'm going to go ahead and buy myself two sticks of dynamite, just because um, I'm, I might do some other stuff with dynamite in the future. So we'll go ahead and buy it $220, and the basic hatchet is $12 in need 2 so basically 220 plus 24 that is 248 $44. That's all it costs to get the Squidward paint. So... I mean, doing this glitch, it's not an exploit, you can't get banned for it, but it, this literally lowers the value of this item because it's now so simple, but, I mean, that's what makes it so great, and I'm not doing any trimming, I'm just trying to keep the dialogue going, the commentation, because I don't want anyone to get lost or misled, but, I mean, also while we're driving around, I'm going to keep my eye, ah, okay, everyone, I was interrupted, by my family but we are off once again to the shrine of sight and keep in mind if the door is open there is no painting there unless someone opened it lost connection and left the painting there oh gosh there's a lot oh a liar a um a laser also that i i mean when i see a tree without leaves i really think that it is um spookwood but it's not i mean that's just like a basic oak tree spookwood grows abnormally compared to all the other trees and um, also, if you are doing this, I would suggest doing it alone without friends or teammates, if you might call them that, because you can't explode dynamite within a certain proximity to um, people you don't have whitelisted and don't have you whitelisted, I believe. So try to keep your friends away while doing this. You can do this on a private server, and that way you'll make the um, most out of your trip up here because in a private server, it is most likely closed unless someone was in it before you and... Yeah, so we're going to just head back up there, and I'm not sure how to keep this commentation going. So, let's talk about, ooh, I mean, I have to do something for 10 seconds until we're there. But anyways, you want to just drive over this, <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sick. 
You're gonna keep going up the road to the volcano, but we're not going in the volcano, so you don't need to worry about dying. The only thing you need to worry about is your car flipping over. And I do recommend bringing a light with you. I did not bring one, but I'm just really hoping my car does not flip over, so let's gonna give this a shot. Boom! Like a pro, guys. That's how you do things around here and my channel. We never fail. Except at finding Spookwood. <laughs> so let's just get all the stuff back in the truck. If your car does flip over, it's alright. You just have to um, click and hold every single item um, that you have. Which might be a bit annoying, but the car also does provide some light and an easy way to get rid of... Or to get um, blah, 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 stuff to places. So what you want to do, you open the box... You want to light it, that's it, it, and you want to run far away. When it explodes, it could flip your truck, kill you, or flank your items. So we're at a good distance right now. And since the door was closed, there has been no one here. And as you can see, the door is still here, but you have to give it a moment. It becomes transparent, and now it still can collide, and now you can go through. So you give it a second. And then once you're here, you're in this room, and it does get very, very dark, so I would recommend a light here. But up here, you can see it says, Deliver My Sight, which was related to... Um, the boxes number 12 and 13. I hope no one finds me though, because someone could take the painting for me. Because I did find a spook tree yesterday, but someone chopped it down. Okay. Um. Okay. First off, I think I put all the box. I think I put it in without unboxing it. Let's try that out. Boom. Hey, it works, guys. It literally works. So you want to put them in, un or you want to put them in while they're still boxed. But now it's going to open. I do recommend getting a bigger truck, like a pickup truck, one of the Vols holers or something like that. But, anyways, here is the Shrine of Sight. And if you want to know something fun, there's like a little hole up there. Uh, you can't really get up there unless you long plank, but I was having issues with it. But, I mean, this looks beautiful. I mean, we have some sun. But now we need to pose and take a picture right now. So let's go ahead, go like the Yeah, yeah, I don't want my car to get stuck. Let's drive up here. Like this. There we go. Okay, that's not going to work, it's just sliding back. I need to get my thumbnail right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. Oh my gosh. I got a text message. And let's go ahead, print screen. There we go, this looks great. Now let's bring our car over to the painting. And this is basically free item, minus the items that you do have to pay for. But, or yeah, pay for like the dynamite and basic hatchet. But here it is. This looks great. This is the painting, and you can't access this room without um, putting the two items in, unless or else it will be invisible. So we'll go ahead and pop it into our truck, and now it is ours. We can take this back to our base and hang it up on the wall, and it should be pretty basic getting back to your base, so I'm not going to include that in the video. So I will see you back at my base. Well guys, it seems my dynamite is being abducted by aliens currently, so I don't think we're getting that back anytime soon, but we have the painting. My car did flip over on the descent down, over the cliff, right up there, but uh, yeah, I think that dynamite's slightly gone. We're going to go ahead and walk back to my base, and if you do want to ease the load and you don't want, if you're going to hang this up and you don't want a box, you can just zoom out, look for your base. I can't really see mine, but this does really make it a bit easier uh, to find your base and get rid of the painting, because it is a bit heavy to carry. So once you zoom out, once you get near your base, you can actually place it down. So I see my base right over here. Boom. I'll be back in a moment. We are back in my base, guys. I ran to my wall. And now we have to find our painting. It's right over here, actually. So that's a bit convenient. And some cool things about this painting is that it was released a while ago. But this is a unique painting that is like none other. If we go ahead and hang this on the wall, we can actually do it. Come on. Okay, let's just do this wall. I believe it's going to be backwards. Yep, it's backwards. But this does make a nice little surface for your creativity. 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 If you want to do anything cool with that. However, once this loads in very slowly, I think I'm having ping issues right now. We can go ahead and rotate it, and it's going to be upside down maybe. Ah, it's actually normal. So this is a massive painting that is much larger than me. But if you notice here, you press E on it. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but we'll turn that up. Bold and, bright. and if you can't hear it, I mean, I can hear it right now, but it's saying bold and brash. Like, it's, it's weird, but I mean, it's, it says that exactly like my voice. But if you press E on it, it says buy Squidward tentacles. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy today's tutorial, make sure you do hit that like button and also consider subscribing. I try to make daily content every day, but when I'm sick, like right now, there is not so much daily content. Anyways, guys, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.